Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I am in the studio. Today is Monday. Mondays are usually a great day for me because I don't have a whole lot of business related stuff to do, so I get to play. Um, I was going to play on my clock tower, finishing it, but it's funny how things happen. I just sat down and I decided to start testing out some new pastels that I had from uh, an estate sale a while ago. I just brought them to the studio. I'm going to turn you around show you what I was doing and uh, kind of give you an idea of where I'm going with this. Aren't they luscious? They're just wonderful. I picked these up at an estate sale quite some time ago. I'm not quite sure how much I paid for them, but they were a hot mess in the um, box was all warped from water damage and I just didn't know what I had. Um, a lot of the colors you can see here in this pile, some of those are probably not even greens. Um, so what I've been doing is I have been um, marking off onto sheets of paper just that outer skin um now the interesting thing what i said i was going to tell you what i plan to do is i think i'm going to try to use these sheets to do some mono printing um totally an experiment and you get to see if i pass or fail at the experiment or rather not if i pass or fail if the experiment passes or fails um, but that's what I'm planning to do today. It's Like I said, it's funny where the muse takes you. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get around to working on my clock tower later. If not, we'll do it tomorrow, and then I'll have more colors <laughs> to play with. I love using the pan pastels, but there's something to the whole idea of having a color already mixed for you. Um, anyway, so I am going to probably stop with my um, scraping here pretty soon and then what I'm going to do is just bag up these based on colors so that they don't get as messed up as they have been um, and then I'll put those aside because as I mentioned the box is that the box that they came in um, is just pretty gross so I'm I have to come up with a different way to store these so um, that's what I'm doing all right so I did finish um, organizing all of these chalks and I'm not sure how to explain my process. I thought for a minute that I was putting them in like values and then I thought well maybe I'm putting them in um, warm and cold but for instance I think it's probably closer to arranging them or organizing them by values because I believe that these here, um, I've got some cooler colors and some warmer colors, and I think it's just the value that I was going with. However, here, these are all my fuchsias and purples, which weren't that many. Um, and so the fuchsia ones over here are going to be um, a lighter value than the purple ones. But anyway, you know, as long as I know where I'm looking and what I'm looking at, because that's all that matters. And then these are just kind of, um, again, I've got a lighter value, a darker value. So I'm not sure the rhyme or reason, but um, there's grays. These were like the like ridiculously light pinks. I didn't want them mixed in, mixed in with the whites because I was afraid I would lose them. Um, some browns there. I had very few of these lighter oranges, and I put them together. These are all pinks. And it's funny, some of the greens that I thought were greens in the end turned out after I cleaned them up a little bit to be, or not greens, I actually thought they were black <laughs> or dark brown, and they turned out to be green. So it, I, this was a good process doing this, um, getting them all cleaned up and organized so that I can use them again in the future. So yeah, a lot of the ones, it's so funny, this was the color of a lot of the ones that I didn't know what they were, or I thought they were one thing and they turned out to be this color. Here are the little trays that uh, came along with the set, and there weren't enough of them to actually assemble the chalks in them, plus 
I found it hard to get the chalks out of these little grooves. So, um, you know, they, they've been water damaged. As I told you, the whole box was somewhat water damaged. But I can't get rid of them. <laughs> Because look at the chalk. Look at the look at the color along there. So I'm thinking maybe at some point I might use them in as a background for a sculpture or something. I don't know, but I am gonna keep them and I'll put those in a little baggie and uh, see what I can do with those. So the other thing that I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm gonna see what I can come up with using all of these papers that I rubbed off to clean my chalks because that's a lot of really good color there, a lot of good pigment. So I want to use that pigment and uh, we'll see what we can do. I've got a couple of ideas and uh, let's see if they come out. So hey, hey, let me show you what I did um, with the cast offs from my chalk. Uh, so I have all of these papers here. I tried a number of different things. Some things succeeded. Some things did not succeed. I tried using my water pen, and you'll see there I've got some marks. But let's try, um, let's try another and see if we can get some marks there with my green. Just so you can check that out. So see, it does work. I also tried to do my um, a wipe through sequin waste, and I'm not quite sure why. I oh, and there's always marks on my sequin waste. Just saying, because <laughs> I never clean them. But let's see if that goes over. Eh, it kind of gives an all over um, thing. So these are definitely some techniques to play around with to see what we can get. Um, I will show you this side. This side is all doing that particular uh, technique where I use the water through um, things. So this I used water through stencils. I actually used a paintbrush. I'll show you that over here. I actually took my stencil I took a paintbrush, I was just dipping it off screen, and I went over the stencil like that. And then I took my um, chalk and I pressed in to the stencil. And so see, I get kind of a watercolor look when I do that. Um, and um, so little dotlets, and I just feathered those back in. So, you know, um, definitely is, it's a technique worth playing with. But I'm going to show you now uh, the results that I got that I was really, really happy with. And then I'll show you how I achieved them. Hold on just a second. All right, so these papers I'm all I'm very happy with. Um, these were the actual papers that I rubbed my chalk off onto, though I will say that. So in the future, when I'm going to rub my chalk off to clean it, I may actually rub it directly into an art journal or something, so that I have papers that I can actually reuse or put it on paper. See, this was all scrap paper, but some of my paper has like people's addresses on the back and stuff, and I can't really use that. Um, but look at how this came out. Isn't this cool? So let me show you how I did that. All right, so what I did was I started with the chalk papers that I rubbed off on and you guys know that I love my flower stencil so I use it for so many different things um, and I picked a big area with a lot of um, chalk on it I used a baby wipe and I just I pulled towards the center I'm not sure if it makes any difference which direction you pull but that's just how I did it. I pull towards the center of this. And what it's doing primarily is it's rubbing off the chalk in the, in the area of the flower. But it's also depositing extra color around the outside. And I did use my, um, I'm going to use this to off stamp. 
I did use my art journal to off stamp what's left out of my stencil. So that's what I got, but it's still, it was something I could do with my, um, you know, what was left over the pigment. So I have this really cool flower that you can see there. And let's change that. We'll do this flower over here. Also, I'm, I'm going to use the same baby wipe. There'll be a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. Sometimes in art, you just have to play around and try different things. So there's that. Not sure I'm really thrilled with that particular flower, but, but it's not bad, right? It's not too bad. And then let's do one more flower over here. Let's see what this one looks like. And then I just rubbed over with some of that into some of the um, emptier areas because it will deposit a little bit of um, pigment there as well. And that came out pretty good. I kind of like that. So one of my favorite things that I discovered as I was playing around with this technique was to take my sequin waste, which is this right here, and this gives a fabulous result rubbing this sequin waste it, it gives the great result wherever you have your original um, chalk areas that you're rubbing off and it also seems to work nicely in areas where there is no pigment so that's what that comes out with and I just love how that looks so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a little bit more in that area just wherever I don't have a flower, I'm going to add a little bit of that just to decorate this up, you know, add some interest to the rest of this page. I almost called it a piece. It's, it's cast off paper, but I like it. It's coming out really fun. We're going to do some right there. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how those are turning out. Um, but for kicks and giggles, let's do a different stencil on the next paper. All right, so I have this little brick stencil. Let's see what that does. We're going to just put that, uh, put it off to the side. I don't like sticking it right in the middle in case I want to do something else. <laughs> but let's rub this all over and I think we're kind of blending some of this green into some of the other greens which is kind of cool all right ready let's see what we got well that's kind of interesting I kind of like that definitely different um, mark making different looks. Let's try something else. All right here's another stencil that I like. I like it for these shapes here and I really like it for the circles that are on there. So let's see how that comes out. that didn't that come out cool i really like that so this has a lot of possibilities i'm totally enjoying this a lot um i'm gonna do just my sequin waste on this you know because you can use these 
I mean, even though this is my cast off paper, I can use these in collage for sure. Can certainly use it in my oops, in my uh, art journals, right? Things I'm keeping for me. But like I said, in the future, I might try to cast off um, that chalk onto something that's more readily usable. Look how that came out. Love that. Let's do it down here. And it kind of, it picks up and it wicks the color underneath the sequin waste, which is how we get some of that darker area. Really, most of the color on this is coming um, from two things, from, from removing and from depositing. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I love that. Look at how cool that is. That's very cool. All right, let's see how it looks with these circles on, on a big green surface. Oh, look at how it's moving that chalk. That's interesting. It, my um, wipe has become kind of like a, a watercolor paintbrush. And I think there's a little bit of gray kind of left on here from the mixture of the chalk on the last piece. All right, let's see what we got. That's definitely fun, don't you think? Oh, I think that's really cool. I wonder, let's do some of these on the side. Oh, I don't think you can see me over there. All right, I wonder, let's do some of these here and see if we get some interesting um, looks with the contrast between the circles and the little rectangles. Oh, that's kind of fun. Let's come over here. I, I have a flower on there from before. <laughs> Uh, uh huh. Yep, I like that. I got some nice chalk right there. Let's see what we can make happen with that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Here's some more. Some chalk right there. Uh, that's fun. I have one more paper. Let's use a different stencil. Okay, so I have this big 12 by 12 stencil. Let's see what this does. I'm gonna get myself a clean wipe as well. All right, so I have a clean wipe. Let's focus down there. Let's see what we can get out of this. This one didn't, oh, I like this area though, right there in the yellow. 
I'm not so sure I like the orange, but the yellow area came out really nice, as did the purple area. Very cool. Very neat look to it. And then this is my off, my stamp off paper. All right, here is a quick recap of all of the papers that we did. With all the different looks to them, I think they came out very nice. And again, it's a nice way to use up the pigment uh, so that I wasn't just, you know, throwing it away. Um, but I, I did, you know, I did achieve some looks that I'm really happy with. I think they came out really nice. All right, I'm calling it finished. I am actually very pleased with this. And I just decided to get to a point where, um, or I was getting to a point where I was starting to overthink things. So I'm happy with it. I think it turned out looking really nice. That's the reference photo. And then back to this, I'm gonna take the tape off and uh, figure out how to sign it. <laughs> All right, this is it without the tape on. I'm very, very pleased. I love it. That was fun. What do you guys think about that technique? Maybe you'll try it on your own um, and share with me what you did. I really like uh, when you do that. So if you guys would also leave me a comment and a thumbs up, that really helps the channel and I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all the next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.